Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and this is Pixie Dust Tarot and I have your daily dust for Monday, March 20th if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's a timeless reading. I like to use a different deck every day to do a three card collective reading and this time we're using the Star Spinner Tarot. I do kind of repeat decks sometimes because of course, I don't have an infinite, um, infinite amount of tarot decks to use, but um, if you have one that you've created or you have one that you like a lot, just, just suggest it in the comment section and I will I can look into seeing about using that. Also, there might be car, uh, decks out there that I have that I already have that you might like me to use. You just let me know. So the pixie dust is all about the magic that's coming through. Let's see what magic wants to come through for you today. I love this deck. It's a very inclusive deck. Okay. Let's see what we have. Ooh, beautiful. It's also my kind of a fairy deck. It's a lot of pretty fairy images. And this is the uh, Queen of Wands. It has a very Beauty and the Beast kind of energy. Very nice. All right, let's see what else we have. Wow, we have the Page of Coins. I forgot to zoom out, but that's okay. <laughs> can take it just as we get it and oh another nice fairy this is like Peter Pan and the page of wands this looks like a really fun couple it could be kind of a young couple out there it could be like um, some high school sweethearts or something or um, couple that that has a a nice youthful playful energy whenever they're together there could be a lot of lessons learned by being together this also feels like mother energy watching over kids or watching over her young um, her young one of finding love you know um, they're not facing each other but I think they might be te look, it's almost like she's texting even though I think she's holding she's holding a coin it looks almost like she's holding a flower. She's, um, but it does, it's a physical thing. Like she wants to give something to someone. And, the, and then he's got the candle. He's hold, holding a candle. So it could be like nighttime energy. It's a lot of magic here. You see all the, the pixie dust flying through. He creates the magic in this situation. But they, they are the perfect, like, so if this is the two of them, it just represents a perfect balanced energy. It's like the guiding light and the protector here. So definitely guiding light, protector energy. And male, female, feminine, masculine, it's, it's not the same thing and it can be interchangeable. You could see yourself in any of these cards or all of them put together. So you could see yourself connecting with somebody else or you can see parts of yourself you know the sides of yourself um so let's see what else with the pages here this could even be students you know um the queen of wands represents somebody who's a high achiever and she's this is like real outgoing energy like very popular uh maybe somebody who's a performer in the limelight um <sighs> She's very warm and passionate, so decisive and intense, ambitious and vibrant, <laughs> and your willingness to change your views as needed for the sake of righteousness. Hmm. You are a positive influence on the lives of your friends and colleagues. So that's what I'm feeling here. Like there could be three people here. This could be you and these could be your friends. Um, you could be like a matchmaker. You could be helping this, this young couple get together. I feel like because we have, this definitely could be teacher student energy. Although I, I hardly ever see the queen as a teacher, but it's very possible because 
And as far, to, as far as court cards go, the queen is above the page in maturity and in maybe intelligence, but just simply in, in status. She's She has something to give the page, but like all students, they know how to return the favor too. She's She has also the the magic with pixie dust flying through, the sunflowers bursting through. So the Page of Wands is eager and enthusiastic. This this person is curious and willing to explore new ideas. So he's like buying everything she has to say. He's like, yeah, 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 this, this, this. <laughs> um, he, he or she represents um, the potential of, of expression, you know, but you know, with without being not being held back, I feel a lot of Sagittarius energy here too with the wands, and it could be also Leo, Leo, and Aries energy as well. Um, there's a lot of posi positivity and spontaneity, and all this, even though like sometimes impulsive actions can can um, be a little bit lead to to. Hmm, maybe regret sometimes. In this case, I think it can lead to great things. So the page brings good news and pleasant surprises. The page of coins also brings some kind of news. She's sort of a messenger or a student of sorts. And she could be bringing news as well. Maybe financial news, some kind of... Um, some kind of material asset. Um, the I, I often think of the the page of coins bringing a gift. You know, uh, even bringing a ring for proposal sometimes. <laughs> um, this this person w will be eager to explore creative and professional opportunities, and there's money to be made. And being excited to participate in, in an, a, an environment of money. So somebody may be maybe their first job or maybe a new job that they're enjoying quite a bit. Um, this The page represents being inexperienced, but that doesn't mean, you can be inexperienced at any age, right? You can, you can have decided to start a whole new job and you start it with a lot of enthusiasm. You realize, wow, I'm, 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 you know, haven't done this and <laughs> I know I maybe look like a newbie, but I'm willing to really dig into it and enjoy it and learn and and make money and do this so it's a lot of enthusiasm to learn the tricks of the trade here so that's really exciting I think I think in a lot of cases it, it can be a money situation a new job it could be about training it could be some it could be something in school too it could be like um uh, a, a course that you take in school that gives you credit for a job, you know, for that work stuff that you do, um, uh, like career things. This could feel like a teacher as well, or mother, parent, um, or boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in love, this feels a little bit like matchmaking or, um, uh, or a parent or somebody giving approval or thumbs up for a connection or also it could represent you know just guidance and these these two kids are being very are very successful just doing a great job just really making the money and feeling passionate i feel like they could be siblings too like one a little bit younger like a younger brother and an older sister but they're they're both doing really well <laughs> and this may be a single mom but I mean that doesn't have to be like this could be a partner yeah interesting that the queen came with a partner <laughs> already right there so it could represent like a twin flame or somebody that's just always with her like his his or her energy her um essence you know the spiritual it's like I'm with you in spirit like this person's always with her in spirit so feel something like that like this encouragement this support this strength from a, her significant other or vice versa <laughs> gives you know helps her make good decisions helps her be a good parent or helps her be a good um Helps her be a good employee, you know, or employer. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah. And these could be people that are under her or just friends or e they could be equals. They, they're a type of messenger too. So, so she could be CEO and they could be more of the, the level of communications, you know, there's a lot going on here, a lot of possibilities here. But I feel um, definitely the bottom line is a lot of enthusiasm and money to be made. <laughs> All right. So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Thank you.